All right, so here, Eddie. Okay, so guys, bring it in. I get my collar tie and my inside. He's gonna grab me on the outside. He's in a square stance. Okay, recap of what we just did. I have my right leg in front. Okay, I'm a righty. This is righty, not, it's southpaw and striking, but it's right-handed and grappling. Okay, so now that I'm here and I've got my position, we have push in, okay. We, uh, let me mention this, because I mentioned it to Noah just a second ago. Try not to walk, grab me, yeah. Um, try not to walk like this, so I'm walking. Same thing, he shouldn't walk either. Walking means like one foot in front of the other, like this. Now, this is not a walk. Watch, when I move, I'm gonna move like this now. See how my, my base is a little bit wider, I'm a little bit more ready. Same for him. He shouldn't walk backward like this. Mm -hmm. if, if he was pushing towards me, I'm gonna walk backward like this. I'm moving my feet. You see what I mean? Now, sometimes you're gonna keep a rigid stance like let's say I have a right leg in front and it'll look like this, right? This is very rigid with my right leg in front. I could also, if I wanted to sort of walk, it could look like this and it's okay. See that? It's a little square, but it, at least I'm obeying the, the stance. I'm keeping the stance. I'm not, I'm not going like this, Right. okay? So don't do that. Don't walk. When I go backward, when I'm pulling, I, it looks like I might be walking from your point of view, but I want you to study my feet. Watch, when I go backward. See how I'm doing that? Mm -hmm. So I did a little circle to it as well, but, and that's not really the point. I could go straight line, but, and if I, I just don't want to do this. See, like walking like that. So it's the same principle, right? We understand? So recap, we have push, okay? Pushing towards him, pulling him down. Uh, head up just a little. Yeah, guys, keep your, keep your hips low, hips low, and head up. Good. Like, don't bend over too much, okay? Don't bend over as a partner. It makes it harder for this guy to do his moves as well. So you have a neutral position like this, okay? Sure, in competition, you're gonna see guys bend over, but we don't, right now it's just, we're practicing learning outside ties. Okay, so I'm pushing, I pull, right? We have those two directions. We have throwing him this way, okay? And we have this way, okay? And then he brings his head back, back in, okay? So it's four directions, push, I just walk, look at me walk. I walked, I'm violating it, right? Mm -hmm. I want you guys to see, that's actually not. When, I, when I'm walking right now, I'm really just changing stance. I'm not walking like this. Right. I'm going, if I ever do that, I'm, if I ever do walk and I change my stance, I'm always in a position where I can make a step and make an attack, okay? Pull, move him to one side, move him to the other side. First move we do is push. Again, you're not posture. Stand square. Hit down, square. Good, squat. Good, head up. Squat a little bit, head up. You're leaning over like a wrestler too much. Head up. There we go. See, guys, look, I'm this partner. I'm like this. I'm here as a partner. I'm not like this. We're not gonna be like wrestling right now. Okay, I'm letting, I'm just a body, I'm just a training dummy. So he can push me, can pull me. See how I come back to this position? Because this is a position where he can do his moves. I don't want you guys in a position where it's making it harder and harder to shoot. If I'm like this, if I'm like this, my head's blocking his shots. So we teach that, we teach that down blocking with our head. It seems like a good thing to do, but not when you have a training, when you're a training partner. When you're the uki, you have to be in a better position to let your partner do whatever he wants. Okay, you got the open glove as a catcher's mitt, and you're gonna catch the ball. Okay, that's what, you're just giving him a nice wide net for him to shoot. Okay, so here, down, he wants a little bit back up, and I step in. 
Okay, look at how deep I stepped and my head is up. I didn't go to my knee. My trail leg is gonna come up and I'm in this position. Sometimes you guys will come around the back and sometimes you guys will finish your double leg. I jam him, I pull him down, step, lift, swing the legs, taking him down. It's up to you. So you can practice all that, that. You can practice the shuffle. I jam, pull down, lift, and you kind of came off your feet. I didn't want to show that. <laughs> Snap, he comes up, step, lift one leg, turn one up, and then right into side control. Okay? So that's what you guys are gonna practice. Jam him, pull him. You guys have to be a good partner. You wanna come back up. When I'm your partner, watch how I feel. Watch not just what he's doing. Prepare your right leg in front. Jam him, pull him. My head comes up and then he gets what he wants. Okay? Set. Let's go to work. Ready? One, two, three. Basic takedowns. Awesome.